Hi guys, today I'm going to do a virtual walk around a fresh and stock BMW 520i. It's a 2 litre petrol and this is the M Sport edition. Finished in this gorgeous uh, mineral grey. As you can tell, a lovely colour, really nice car, really great spec as well. Going down to the alloys, got the 18 inch M Sport twin spoke alloys, finished in uh, gunmetal grey. You can see you've got the nice BMW centre casings as well. Look really great, very good condition as well. Go to the front, you've got your BMW LED angel eye headlights with daytime running lights. Uh, you have the nice um, chrome uh, kidney grills as well with the black in events and all you've got all the black grills and things as well which look great got a nice M Sport bumper which looks uh, good to the rest of them if you go to the sides got the M Sport badge in got the nice black side vents got matching colour wing mirrors to the body colour got your indicators on there too and black housing a nice black trim on the outside of the windows you've got black roof bars black beam pillars and rear privacy glass if you go to the back you've got a nice lip spoiler on top of the boot with your brake lights on Got the really nice rear 5 series tail lights and also the really nice rear M Sport bumper with the body coloured diffuser and you've got the two chrome exhaust tips. If we go and open up the boot, we can uh, press the boot button and the boot will open on its own. Absolutely great boot space, obviously for the size of the car. Uh, it's made for its boot space. You've got the nice load space cover as well and then all it's also very clean and nice. You also have a power outlet as well, which is there. If we press the button, the boot will close. We're going to get into the front, uh, the rear of the car, sorry. So you've got the full leather interior with your nice uh, white inner bits, uh, which look very nice. You also have the nice uh, three-person seats, which are very spacious and comfy. You can fit three people in there nicely. And you also have rear fans for storage, and then you've also got your rear climate control and a 12 volt. If we go into the driving seat, you can see we have the same style seats, but you've got a bit more adjustments with these and lumbar support, which is uh, very comfortable. These are electric, as you can see, which is great. If we go and get into the car, it's wireless key entry, so foot on the brake, press the stop start button, and the key, car will turn on. Got the gorgeous M Sport full leather steering wheel, controls on either side. You've got your cruise control and limiter on this side, and you've got your different mode selects for your car, so you can go through your radio stations, phone, and everything, uh, all your different settings. So it's the, basically the source button to go through through everything. So you've got a nice virtual driving dash as well, you can go your different displays up, uh, which is great. You've also got your volume control, uh, a voice command and hands-free button there too. If we move down, you've got your leather door cards with the same stitching to match the interior going through. But the nice ambient lighting on the door cards as well, which go through all the dash and things as well. So you can see that goes around the car, which is really nice. The fully electric automatic windows, the ability to lock the rear windows and you have your electric wing mirrors there too. You've got your automatic headlights, which you can switch to manual too, your parking lights and your fog lights. And you've got your brightness of all your displays. If you move over to the media display, control through your panel down here. So you've got the nice big navigation system. This is also a touch screen as well. So you can see you've got touch screen. You've got your hands free too. Uh, so you've got all your phone calls through uh, Bluetooth, which you can take. You can also use Bluetooth to connect to your media. So you can listen to your music through Bluetooth and USB. You do have radio as well. So you've got DAB, FM and AM. And obviously I said you've got your navigation system, all your vehicle settings as well. If you put the car in reverse, you can see you've got a nice front and rear parking sensors with a nice display showing that. And you've got your driving line on there as well. If we move down, you've got the dual zone climate control, so you've got temperatures on either side which you can adjust, so you can sync them together. You can have different temperatures on either side for each passenger. Um, you've also got your front and rear defogging, uh, your heated seats on either side, so they're good for a nice cold morning like today. And then all your air circulation and everything. If we open up here, you can see you've got the nice um, storage space and a USB port, two drinks holders and then a 12 volt. But the different drive modes for your car, such as sport mode, comfort mode and eco mode. And then you've got your traction control as well, your electric automatic handbrake, and then obviously all the buttons. If we open up here, you've got some more storage space, and then you've got another 12 volt there too. So if you have any more questions about this car, please feel free to contact our sales team, and potentially this could be your next new car. Cheers.